in this video, I'm going to be sharing everything CIPD and responding to so many questions you have asked me when I first shared my CIPD video one and two. Let's say this is the third one. If you're interested in all of that, please keep on watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So I'm going to dive straight into this video so I do not take so much of your time. When you look at CIPD as a whole, the body itself is called CIPD. It is the Chartered Institute of Personnel Development. CIPD certification is recognized in many parts of the world. For example, it is recognized in the United Kingdom, where it originated from, is recognized in the Republic of Ireland, this is where I live, it is recognized in Dubai, it is recognized in Saudi Arabia, and it is recognized in many different parts of the world. So for you to get the best provider to attend your CIPD course, whether level three, which is the foundational level, level five, which is the associate level, and level seven, which is the chartered member level, or the CIPD MSc. You need to go to CIPD.co.uk or simply put it on Google and you'll find CIPD. I think the question I get asked the most is, where can I complete my CIPD? Three of the providers that I've researched, the number one is the Avado Learning. The Avado Learning, their office is based in Imperial College, and this was where I completed my own CIPD. So at the moment, all these providers that I'm going to be touching on today, they are currently having some sort of discounts. They are having offers on their website or on their training. And these offers are available till July of this year. Avado Learning, the level three CIPD is currently £1,596. This has been reduced basically up to 25% at the moment. The level five at the moment is 2610 is originally 3,729 pounds. And the level seven is 4,974 pounds. was originally 7,000 pounds. As you can see, they have this discount going on now. So that is with the Avado Learning. Because I completed mine in the Avado Learning, I would definitely recommend that to you to explore. I've tried them before, so I can definitely recommend them. And by the way, this is not a sponsored post. The second learning center, before I take all these questions, would be the ICS Learning. They are also CIPD accredited uh, center. You can complete your CIPD with them. And currently, the ICS Learning is offering the CIPD Level 3 at 1,999, it was 2,500, which means is actually cheaper than the Avado learning at the moment. The level five is currently at 3,300, it was 3,700 pounds. And the level seven is currently at 6,700 pounds. It's currently at 6,700 pounds. It used to be 7,200. So the level three in ICS learning is cheaper compared to the one in Avado, right? On the CIPD website itself, it says the foundational level is in and around 2,300 pounds. The associate level is about 3,700 pounds. And the advanced level is about 7,000 pounds. As you can see, this is a very big investment. So it's worth thinking about what level you should be completing if you are considering CIPD at all. And the third one is Morlen. Morlen is another accredited CIPD center. The first one I touched on is Avado Learning. Because I completed my CIPD there, I would definitely recommend it. And the ICS Learning, it's another repeatable one. I have seen a lot of people review ICS Learning and I would definitely recommend. The third one I'm recommending is the Moreland. 
the MOLEN is also an accredited CIPD uh, center. You can consider completing your CIPD there. So all in all, all these three centers that I've mentioned, they are currently having some sort of discounts at the moment, which is in and around 25%. I think basically is just near summer and they are trying to attract or recruit new CIPD uh, participants. So if you're interested, please do check all that out. So I will go straight into the questions that I've received. Firstly, let me address how long does it take to complete CI the CIPD? It takes 12 months to complete on the foundational level, which is level three. If you've never done any human resources before, if you do not have any experience at all in human resources as a profession, I would truly recommend to start out as at level three. A lot of people consider the level three a waste of time, but I'm telling you it is not a waste of time. It's almost like going into kindergarten first before you go into the primary education. So consider the level three kindergarten for you if you do not have any experience in human resources as a profession or the people profession as it's fondly called. So level five CIPD, it takes about 12 to 16 months to complete. This is one and a half years thereabout. The foundational level is the starting point. Level five is the intermediary CIPD, which is almost like your primary education, or if you like, your secondary education. It takes in and around 16 months to complete this. If you have some level of experience in human resources, maybe three years of experience to five years of experience, I would definitely recommend the level five. And also, depending on the work you're doing, in the HR space, you sometimes do more operational tasks, which will be the HR administrator, HR coordinator, even the HR specialist. If your work is wrapped around operational, so if you do not have any experience in human resources previously, the level three might be a good start for you. If you have some experience between three to five years, the intermediate one, which is level five, will be ideal for you. Now, the level seven takes in and around 16 months to 24 months to complete, which is about two years. As you see, the foundational level, you can finish in 12 months. The intermediate level, you can finish between 12 to 16 months. And the higher level, which is level seven, you can finish in two years. You know, they've designed these courses based on level of experience. So if you have five years of experience, up to seven and up to 20 years of experience, the level seven would be for you. This is more, it's more for people who do strategic work. So if you're an HR manager with people management responsibility, doing things like HR business partnering, change management, supporting leaders or doing strategic organizational work, if you are the one shaping the organizational culture, people culture, uh, strategic people needs within your organization, which means you are more advanced in your HR journey, the level seven is ideal for you. And the thing with this CIPD courses, if you decide that you want to do level seven to start, you may struggle even though you do not do any exams, you complete certain assessments. And in those assessments, you would need to respond to different scenarios within the HR practice. If you do not have that kind of experience, they are not something that you can Google. Just doing hands-on learning can help you to respond to those questions effectively in your assessment. If you do not have the experience, you may struggle. If you have some hands-on learning experience, you'll be able to respond to some of those questions in your assessments better, right? So level three, if you don't have any experience at all in human resources, level five, if you have three to five years level of experience, years of experience, level seven is the more strategic uh, HR level. 
So if you're doing more senior work, responsible for the strategic direction of HR within your organization, level seven is for you. Now, on to some of the questions I've received over and over and over again. The latest one that I received is from Abiodun Oyelola. Abiodun Oyelola is originally from Nigeria, but currently living in the United Kingdom. He reached out to me on my LinkedIn. By the way, if you're not following me on my LinkedIn, go ahead and follow me. I share a lot of career, uh, career development articles on there that will help you fast track your career irrespective of the level you're in. So go ahead and follow me. He asked whether CIPD opens door for HR opportunities in the UK. I would say definitely yes. And secondly, it depends. Like I said before, if you do not have any experience at all in the human resources space, level three is a good place to start. If you have some experience, three to five years, intermediate level, which is level five, is fine. If you have a lot of experience, irrespective of where you practice, level seven is ideal for you. So to go back to Abiodo's question, will CIPD open doors for you for opportunities? I would say yes. A lot in this part of the world, United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland, they actually respect and value work experience above qualifications. So let's say there's someone who has been in the human resources space for 10 years. They've done operational HR, they've done strategic HR with a whole lot of responsibilities under their belt. If that kind of person applies for a job, even without CIPD in bigger organizations, a lot of times they don't really worry about it. But education is never a waste. But if it's someone who is just starting out, in my that's sharing from my experience. When I worked in Accenture, I worked as a mid-level professional, right? Nobody asked me if I had CIPD. They were just particular about the years of experience that I had. They never asked me about my CIPD. However, when I did some work with smaller organizations, the very first time I completed my CIPD in 2019, the very first time I ever got asked if I had CIPD was in 2021 when I wanted to do some contract work for a smaller organization. They said, do you have CIPD and on what level? So it depends on where you are applying to. I would say find a balance in both. If you can complete your CIPD based on the amount I've specified, your investment, do so and gain work experience as well. So you have the work experience, you have the CIPD qualification. It's a win-win for you, so it is never a waste. CIPD is highly reputable, is very well recognized. So irrespective of where you go, in places where CIPD is recognized, whether Dubai, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, you will be able to practice as an HR professional. So if it's a requirement, in the country where you're residing, I would say go for it. So I hope that helped the Abiodun. By the way, I checked out your profile to see what kind of experience you have. You have some experience. I would definitely recommend a level five for you. So go for it. You can do this. Put your money on it. You will never regret it. It changed my own life anyway. It did. Yeah. There's someone called Monster Max. I don't know if that's your real name or your YouTube name. You ask which website has the best CIPD course. I've answered this question from the start of this video. The ones I would recommend will be Avado Learning in the UK. They, they are offices in the Imperial College in London. Then the Moreland and the ICS. They are the three reputable ones that I've seen the reviews and I would definitely highly recommend. Do your research and go with the one that you feel is suitable for you. The CIPD.co.uk is where to go find this information. Janelle Delosa, they said, I have experience in HR. Can I do level five? Absolutely. You can do level five. Like I said before, if you have up to three to five years of experience in human resources, level five is for you. If you do not have any experience, the level three for you. I would definitely recommend level five for you if you have some work experience, Janelle. 
and all the best as you go do your level five. Yeah. And then I have Ahmad Nofal. Ahmad Nofal is currently in Dubai. He said, I want to teach this to my students. Where can I get the materials? Unfortunately, it's a paid learning. You can't find the resource anywhere. Even if you find them vaguely online, they'll online they won't be extensive and it is not really recommended that you take the resource and teach it to your students you yourself must complete the program then you you get access to uh, the resources you can then use that that to teach other people ideally but they won't be accredited they won't be certified if you use the resource you have to teach them it's better for you to encourage your students to go complete these programs themselves then Almovad Van is in Qatar. Thanks very much for watching my video. He's currently working in luxury sales, but wants to transition to learning and development. After he spoke to his L&D specialist in their organization, uh, the L&D specialist said to go complete CIPD. I think your L&D specialist is spot on, right? I think Transitioning from sales to human resources is possible because you have a lot of transferable experience. And especially if you are interested in uh, learning and development as a career path in the human resources space, this is very possible. So what I would recommend to do is to consider the level five CIPD designed for learning and development specialist. Also, because you have your learning and development manager, at your beck and call in your organization, you can always reach out to them to find opportunity to work closely with them. You can volunteer, doing plus ones, help support in the learning and development in your organization. It will expose you to practical hands-on learning while you also use your transferable skills to transition into learning and development. This was exactly what I did. When I didn't have a lot of experience in human resources, I just supported the senior human resources professionals within my organization at the time. While I'm the head of human resources now on my career level, I've gained a lot of experience over the years. So you can start small, gain experience by helps, helping to support multiple senior people. Try your hands on different things. Sit down in meetings, shadow sessions, it's going to help give you the experience you're looking for because sometimes you need to do all that to gain the experience you're looking for. And it helps a lot. It helps a lot. All right. Don't be afraid to ask. Christy Thomas said, should I do MSc HR in Birmingham University? I assume that Christy is in the United Kingdom. Should I start from CIPD level five or should I go and do your master's? See, the master's route is also a good route. If you complete an MSc in CIPD, provided that Birmingham University is CIPD accredited, you will get an associate degree CIPD, which is level five. I would recommend to find out if, if Birmingham University is CIPD accredited. It's going to help you a lot on your journey, right? So I hope that helped you, uh, Christy. Now, Shab Shabnam. Shabnam is from India. And it's asking me for CIPD providers. Somewhere in this video, I actually responded to three uh, CIPD providers that I would recommend. The number one is Avado Learning. Because I used them before, I can recommend that. The two others, the ICS Learning and More Learn, they are, uh, I recommended them because I've seen reviews about them. But the most important thing to look at is to go onto the CIPD website at cipd.co.uk and find providers for CIPD that are CIPD accredited to offer CIPD as a certification. I will be taking more CIPD questions. I will be responding to a lot of questions about CIPD. I plan to do some revision lessons on how to complete your CIPD assessment because I've received loads and loads of questions on this. And someone even said, I'll pay you, just come and be my um, uh, teacher for the CIPD uh, course. I, so, but look out for that video. I will be showing you how to complete your CIPD assessment in level three and level five. Now, 
If you have additional questions, leave them for me in the comments below. Don't be afraid to ask me questions. I'm more than happy to respond to them. And if you're doing your CIPD, all the very best. Again, I'm happy to respond to your questions. If you have any, please do ask me. I'll be more than happy to support you in your journey. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please go on and click the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. It's free. <laughs> I will speak to you soon on my next video. Bye-bye.